What is the Eighth Amendment? The Eighth Amendment is part of the Bill of Rights in the U.S. Constitution. It states excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishment inflicted. Before we define the meanings of excessive bail, excessive fines and cruel and unusual punishment, we need to look at several aspects, where these clauses originated, what influenced them, and society's view on them today. Where did the Eighth Amendment derive from? The phrase excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted, came directly from the English Bill of Rights. In 1787 the Constitution was written and not approved by delegates because it did not include a Bill of Rights, among them the Eighth Amendment. In 1791 the Eighth Amendment was added to the Constitution in the Bill of Rights. The three components of this amendment are, the prevention of, excessive bail excessive fines and cruel and unusual punishment. Excessive bail. This clause restricts judicial discretion in setting bail for the release of citizens accused of a criminal activity, following their arrest but preceding their trial. In other words, the judge is not allowed to set an unreasonable amount of bail for the accused. Excessive fine. If the higher courts feel that the judge's fine was unreasonable they can choose to overturn the fine, it also limits the amount that the state and federal government may fine a person for a particular crime, cruel and unusual punishment. This clause prevents the courts from punishing the accused in a way that is considered cruel and unusual. The expression in the Eighth Amendment cruel and unusual came directly from the English Declaration of Rights in 1688. Before this expression was written people were brutally tortured for crimes such as stealing vegetables or speaking badly against a respected leader. Punishments included beatings, burning at the stake, burning in oil, crucifixion, breaking of the wheel, and cutting off body parts. Although the Eighth Amendment barred these inhumane methods, there instead is something that doesn't violate the constitutional concept of cruelty, the death penalty. Our story begins before the Eighth Amendment was enacted. Young Skippy just got off work and went to the local bar to relieve some stress. Let me have another mug of beer. I think you've eaten had one too many pal. How about you call it a night? The night is still young. Last round and I will walk on home. Skippy finishes his last beer and heads out, but does not have the intention of walking home just yet. Skippy is sick of his job because of the low income, so he goes to the nearest convenience store and drunkenly decides that he wants to rob it. Give me all the money. Now. Okay man. Just relax. Don't hurt me. Only 200 bucks. You are so cheap. Luckily, there was an off-duty police officer coming into the store to purchase some food. Freeze. Sucker! Oh man! Skippy is arrested and put into jail. He is sentenced to life in prison. He is then fined one million dollars for bail and horrifically tortured. Our second story begins the same, but after the Eighth Amendment was enacted. Young Skippy just got off work and went to the local bar to relieve some stress. Let me have another mug of beer. Do do do. Going to rob a store. Give me all the money. Now. Freeze. Sucker. Skippy is arrested and put into jail. Skippy is rightfully sentenced to seven years in prison and fined $250,000 for bail. The Eighth Amendment helped Skippy get a reasonable bail, as well as a reasonable fine, and was not mistreated. Created by, The Ann Vargas, Miriam Godinez, Peter Pham, Armando Sandoval, and Abel Marin.